You ever have these moments you go to the beach and you put your umbrella or your beach towel down and then you go wade out into the water for a while and just kind of let the float take you and it's all skippy go free free. You're feeling just kind of good floating with things. And then you, you look up and you try to find your, like, where's my umbrella? Where's my, where's my beach towel? Where's my chair? Oh, it's, it's, it's way down there on the other side of the beach. How did I get so far away from my beach home base? Well, there's a thing about these waves, right? They are more powerful than us. There's a sway, there's an undercurrent. They, they take us out and, and we might think we're strong swimmers and we, we kick against the current and we try to get our way back to where we started, you know, back to home. But it's almost futile sometimes. We gotta put our feet down and just walk back in and then walk along the shore, get back home. And it's like, if only there was something that could keep us in place. If only there was something that could keep us from drifting away. Like, well, the scriptures in the book of Hebrews say there is, says that we have this hope like an anchor for our souls that is firm and secure that is in Jesus Christ. Now, of course, I'm not just speaking about ocean waves now, but in this world, there is a current and it, it pulls us away. That, that thing that pulls us away is like this temptation that would, would call us to like, oh, just go, just, just a little bit, a little bit. We don't ever drift into the presence of God. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let the stuff just, you know, let the world, let my, you know, feelings, let anything just take me, drift me towards God. No, currently in this world, that has been saved, that has, you know, has a rescuer in it, the, the life saver that is Jesus Christ, but he hasn't come back yet until he, until he comes back the second time in triumphant glory to re receive his family. Until then, and we're in a world that's a lot like waves and it crashes against us and it tends to pull us away, pull us away from home. And until Christ comes back and makes everything right again, we have to fight. And we fight not against flesh and blood, but against like spiritual forces that would, would hate for us to be closer to our Father. As adopted sons and daughters of the Most High God, uh, Satan wants to rob us of that, of that family connection, that family resemblance, wants to pull us deeper into the waters, deeper into chaos, deeper into fear, deeper into anxieties and worries, and all of those fears about today and worries about tomorrow. But if we could, if we could rest assured, have that firm anchor, firm and secure, that is Christ, then we find the freedom. It's not a control to be anchored down to something if that something is Jesus Christ and the hope that we have in him. That something is the absolute beauty. And then we don't have to worry about being lost or drifting or farther away from him. So let that hope rest on you today. If you find yourselves kicking against the waves, the, the metaphorical waves of life that keep drifting you in further ways, find your hope in Christ. Stay close to him. Be with him. Abide in him and in his love. All right, God bless you guys.